You know, this is the hardest job I've ever had, with the exception of being a mother. <laughs> there are just two rules for me. Number one, we're always gonna do what we think is right. And number two, we're always going to be completely transparent about why we're doing it. On November 30th, there were thousands and thousands of people affected by what happened in that school that day. And it had a ripple effect, not just within the Oxford community, but all over our county, all over our state, all over the country. We put a name and a voice to victims of terrorism, and it's the first time in the country that that's happened for a school shooting. The decision to charge parents for involuntary manslaughter, it was just common sense. And anyone looking at the facts of that, I believe would do exactly the same. For the first time ever, a parent has been convicted in a mass school shooting. Just an absolutely stunning verdict, as you know. This was an incredibly high bar for the prosecution to clear. This is really a landmark moment. This is a landmark ruling. Prosecutors embrace the families of victims who have been through so much these last few years. Gun violence is the number one cause of death for children in this country. I was really searching for a group of people that were addressing gun violence in the way that it needs to be addressed. And so I decided I was going to start that group myself. Stop just focusing on that moment where the person in crisis has their hand on the gun. We have to talk about way upstream. I urge you to approach this as a public health crisis and focus on a comprehensive plan to prevent gun violence. I have a lot more I want to do. I really love this job. I, I love getting up in the morning. I love walking into that building and knowing that we get to be on the right side. When I go into court and I say, Karen McDonald, on behalf of the people of the state of Michigan, it never gets old.